Ladies and gentlemen, Mike, the local troublemaker right here, holding the pizza like it's a book. <laughs> Setting the pizza down like it's a book. right towards you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, not that, you're <laughs> doing one. it wrong. You're supposed to do the T-Bog bar, and when you land, avoid me, the object. You're the subject, I'm the object. Subject can't hit the object. It's against the rules of vloggist. Haha, uh -huh, see? See how that worked? Way better. All right, so today we're over here at Cal Oaks Skate Park. The skate park is currently closed, so a few of the other local kids are here just kind of hanging out. Including Tito, who's doing T-Bog bar slap. Yeah. I like that. Let's see Let's see the triple. Come on. A triple tail whip coming from our boy Tito. Yes. I got your back. Shall I film it? Shall. Oh, God. Oh. Whoa. That was better. There you go. So this is a scooter that I rode at Woodward East while I was there for uh, like a week and a half, I believe I was there. I think I filmed like seven videos while I was there and in every single video we rode this thing pretty much all day because when you go to Woodward, that's what you do. That's all there is to do. That and wait for dinner. I'm gonna really quickly apologize because the wind is blowing right now and I've been waiting for like 10 minutes, but it's still going. Well, this scooter I had for uh, a, probably a month and a half or so prior to my trip over to Woodward, and there it goes. You hear all that? Not my fault. Hey, would you just shut up up there? And because we were riding Mini Mega and all the skate parks out there, and uh, if you guys miss all those videos, you can click that playlist right there. It'll take you straight over so you can watch every single video that we filmed there. Um, but because of all of those videos, my scooter has definitely seen better days. So today we are gonna be riding for a little bit, and then afterwards, we're gonna cruise over to the house and I'm gonna overhaul my entire scooter. I got a massive shipment from Envy. Shouts out to my boys over there. I'll show you guys all the parts when we get to the house. And uh, But today I wanna put on some, preferably new wheels, fork, if I have a clamp, I don't know. We'll, we'll figure that out later. But first, let's get some more clips. Should we go to the five stair? Yeah. Yeah. We're at the five stair next to the skate park. And Tito said that he's jumped the gap, which is from the five stair over all the way into the street. It's kind of a big gap. The, the flat part is probably like, I don't know, 11 feet or so. And he just went from the top of the five stair to the, about the middle. So he's got a little bit of distance to go. I want to get the jump up Manny line around it because I've done it a couple times, but I want to see if I can get, I don't know, something different about it. Maybe a 180 out or something. But first, let's see if he's got the gap. Sorry again about the wind. It's still going. Yeah, I got it. You got it. Get away. How did you even get up here? I didn't even go get you. Yeah, you're about 60%. You're good. You got this. Don't be scared, little boy. You nervous? Not a little. Don't be scared. There you go. I like that. I like that attitude. Let's go, baby. <laughs> what is up with you and being on the floor today? What's your problem? Tito getting the most unnecessary speed that he needs. There you go again. Floor again. <laughs> Yo. Check out how he landed. Slow mo replay. <laughs> sketch AF, bro. Dude, that was like Jesse's manu manual down on the floor. That was sketch. Thanks. That was sketch, but hey, you did it. First go. And now I, I told him I'd give him my SOB if he did it. Um, and because I have new forks, I'm gonna put be putting on anyway, and mine are used up. This dude could probably uh, dude, put them to good use. My scooter's about to be your scooter. What do you mean? You just keep giving me stuff. That is half my scooter. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> Let me get my clip. Just want to let you guys know really quickly that the SIG helmets are available at RaymondWarner.com or any one of your local S1 dealers. You should snatch some. My though, was a lot of them have sold out on the site, but I am going to get more coming in. And then once I get more in, they're going to be gone for a little while. So if you want to get your helmet, you should get yours today. Link is in the description below. But I think I want to try to get uh, Manny up. Well, let's just get, let's just, the Manny up. Let's just get Bunny Hop up the five stair. Manny all the way around. Maybe just bar off or something. And then after that, I'll do something else off the curb over there. That firecracker down? Only right, right? Yeah. It's always right, Dave. 
Whoa. Let's see if he gets it first try or not. I, I think he's got it because, you know, Ray has Ray has some hops. Oh, five stair. Hop up. Manny. Oh, bro. I just knee pad slide flat. Yeah. Did you see that? Yeah. Knee pad slide flat, boys. Let's go. Street dub. Street dub? Yep. You were mobbing. What trick am I doing again? Bar. Let's go. I would say first try, but I knee pads slid first try. <laughs> so heel out this time. A little heel. Yeah. A little cheeky heel, mate. Yeah. The battery on the camera is dying, but I wanted to stop and take this um, quick time to say that I don't usually ride knee pads. When I ride a five stair, I do wear my helmet, but I put my knee pads on to come ride the skate park and the skate park was closed. That's why we have knee pads on right now. So don't talk too much crap on me. A little bit's fine. <laughs> Not too much. Bro, why are you wearing knee pads in the street? Yo, shut up. You got it. Very good. Very good. Street dub. How did that even happen? I didn't mean to drop into the curb, Jesus. <laughs> now what? Uh, 180, that'd be street. That'd be sick. Street yeah. and sick. And sick street. Ah. Ripper. Fall, 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 ah, get up, fall. Dang. He's falling on the floor today, dude. I don't know what to do with I believe in him. The 180 off the curb from the manual. You do it? Kinda. Kinda? Kinda. I'm gonna call, I'm gonna call it good. Yeah. My front wheel touched at the end, but eh. who's, who's, who's watching? Wind. <laughs> Winding. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Tito going for the bar bar. Getting the bar X up. I said bar X right, that'd be sick. Bar X right would be sick. Try it. I'm gonna do bar bar first now. All right, bar bar first and then bar X ride. Bar X ride would be an gnarly. For those of you guys that don't know what a bar X ride is, it's like he would do a bar spin and then land in an X up and ride like that down the five stair. Yo, X ride firecracker. Hell no. <laughs> With the bar spin, bar spin. Look at him go, ladies and gentlemen, a true champion. He's gonna do bar spin down the five stair to X ride, tail whip out off of the curb. Yeah, if you mess up on the tail whip, you're a goober. Oh my god, you freaking did it. First try, too. Yo, the tail whip was, oh, um, oh, you're trying to go on the floor again, aren't you? That was sick. Thanks, I appreciate it. I would not want to do that myself. There's no way. You got, you got the rail hop? I'm, I'm a, is that a yeah? I'm, no. I'm going to take that as a yes. No. I'm going to take that as an absolute yes. You could also go over the bush. Because if you, you fell, the landing on that one. yeah, but if you fell in the bush, it'd be a lot funnier. Why do you want me to fall? I mean, I don't, but just in case you did, it would be comical. I don't want to do that. Well, then don't fall. Well, I don't want to jump the bush. I don't even want to jump over the rail. Well, then jump over the rail. I... <laughs> you make no sense. <gasps> oh my God, you barely made it. You barely. I'm done. What you doing over there, Trouble? Why you got a whole pizza to yourself? That thing's bigger than you. Oh, is there a deal going down over there? It looks like it. In the bushes? Is the bush about to give you some pizza? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> you just keep coming into frame doing the weirdest stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, Mike, the local troublemaker right here, holding the pizza like it's a book. <laughs> Setting the pizza down like it's a book. What's up, Mike? You can jump that set, that five stair? Oh, I keep wanting to call it a seven stair. Woo -hoo -hoo! Give me some, Mike. If you don't nose blunt from the top of that five stair, you suck. Kill Max. Kill. What's up, buddy? How are you, Gary? 
Hi, bad buddy, how are you? I'm doing all right, nice to see you. I haven't seen you in a little bit. How are you either, Max? All right, the little stair session has been successful, uh, but I think it's about time to fix my girl up. So let's head over to the house and uh, see what we're gonna be using. All right, so we're back over here at my house and we started to look for parts that I could put on my scooter and we're kind of going through a couple different ideas at the moment, but we, we got warped a little bit because we got into my, um, my box that has a bunch of my um, parts that technically are still good to use. I've just kind of been reminiscing and showing Tito some parts that he definitely has never seen before. For example, this is my first ever signature part. Um, that is my name. I drew this. It's got a couple crosses on there and some bubbles. It's super, super random, but it was the first ever scooter wheel uh, or was first ever signature part that I had um, ever. So this was made with Scooter Zone. A Cody Donovan wheel in here. This is a pretty rare wheel to have. We have some Demon Core, some uh, Scooter Zone Quakes. We have a couple of Envy wheels in here. These are all obviously newer, um, like a clear 120 some super old epic quakes that were actually never ridden. And here's like the rarest wheel ever. It's right here. It's a Stan Smirnoff wheel. I'm not gonna show you too close on that for uh, adult reasons probably. It's probably not a good idea. A bunch of other old stuff in here. Like we have an old Demon Core. We got like some older forks. We got SOB. This one, I can't remember why this is in here, but I, something went happening with this. NV1 wheels, epic SCS. An old Envy clamp. We just got so much random stuff in here. You guys probably remember this video where I just drilled a whole bunch of wheels or a whole bunch of holes in a wheel. An old Branson Smith wheel with Epic. Just so much old, old stuff in here. What's that? Oh, that's just like a rollerblade wheel. <laughs> yeah. So we've just been getting kind of caught up, but I figured instead of just rebuilding my scooter and kind of doing something that is a uh, normal, I guess is the right word. I figured why not make my scooter as light as I possibly can by riding like the same parts that I would normally ride. So I'm not gonna put like a like a 90 millimeter wheel on or anything like that. It's parts that I would normally ride. I got a scale right here. So we're gonna weigh some of the parts that I have and we are going to basically make my scooter as light as possible. So let's weigh my scooter right now and see where we're coming in at. Time out, I found another box that has some super old stuff in it. Go ahead. Got a lot of stickers. Dude, what is this? Those are all John Reyes. Uh, Phoenix stickers. That's an old SCS or an old uh, headset. I mean, these are like so. I don't ride for this company anymore, you guys, but I used to like way back in the day. We have like my old ketchup sticker right here. But the coolest thing in here are these Razor stickers. These are super super rare. All right, so let's go ahead and get this scale turned on. Make sure it's on zero. Toss that baby up here. Let's see what we're weighing at. So we got my scoot, and it currently weighs in at. Oh shoot, is it gonna fit? Seven pounds, 12.6 ounces. It's a pretty light scooter, but I think we can make it lighter. These wheels are not the lightest wheels that Envy makes. These are the full cores, and I have a couple different wheels um, over here in the corner that we're gonna put on, and uh, we're gonna see how much weight it'll save. Seven pounds, 12.6 ounces. Now, let's see what Tito's weighs in at. Eight pounds, two point, we're just gonna say 2.1, okay, well, 2.1. 2.2. 2.2? 2. 2. 8 pounds, 2.2 ounces. Do you have chromoly bars on there? Yeah. And that is why. So this is the same wheel that I'm currently riding. It's a 120 millimeter MB wheel, 86A, 26 millimeter PU. And it weighs in at 10.4 ounces. So we are actually gonna be riding the gap wheels on this scoot. So these weigh in at 9.3 ounces. Both are with bearings. Although these are a little bit used, um, so I'm gonna have to switch these bearings out. But for the sake of this video, we're gonna put both of these wheels on. And I need to I need to weigh this fork too and see if this is any lighter than an SOB. So we've got the SOB V3. I ride IHC compression, so it is a little bit of a smaller and lighter fork. But let's see what this one comes in at. This one is 8.6 ounces. That's what the SOB weighs in at. With the SOB weighing in at 8.6 ounces, we are gonna weigh the Prodigy fork, which comes in at nine ounces. So looks like we're gonna be sticking with the SOB fork. So the next two things, I have a set of Unions and I have a set of Reaper V2s. I know that Reaper V3s aren't as light as the Unions. Also, I do know that the Reapers that I have right here are a little bit shorter than the Unions. Like if I kind of put them next to each other, uh, it's probably about two inches, so the, the amount of a slit, basically. With these, we've got one pound, 15 and a half ounces. With the Reapers, I, they feel a little tiny bit lighter, but let's see what they went, weigh in at. One pound, 14 and a half ounces, pretty much. But I feel like with the amount of difference um, when it comes to size of bars, I feel like the Unions are still a little bit lighter than these would be. 
again, considering these are actually smaller. If these were like a pound, like maybe an ounce lighter or so, then I'd probably go with these as opposed to the Unions. But it looks like the Unions are still a little bit lighter, so we're keeping the Unions on my scooter. Also, you guys are probably thinking like, right, you normally ride Lambos, which is true. So I actually compared these against the Lambos. The Lambos weighed in at 9.5 ounces as opposed to these weighing in at 9.3. So these are lighter than the Lambos, just so we're all clear. Next up, we have two sets of grips to compare. We have the Vital grips, which is what I usually run against the Envy grips. These are the TPR grips. So they are just about the, or they are the exact same length, same width and everything, but they could be a different weight. So these weigh in at 1.8 ounces. Again, I know this is like a pretty minor thing, but for the sake of the video, we're gonna go with lightest grip. So 1.8 ounces. Now, comparing them against the Envy TPR grips, 1.6 ounces. Okay, looks like um, TPR grips are 0.2 ounces lighter than the Vital grips. Okay, so Envy grips it is for the day. That works out anyway because I'd rather have blue grips on right now because I've ridden the yellow ones for a little while. So. Blue it is. As for clamps, the only two clamps that I have right now are uh, the same Envy double clamp. And the, when I say two, I mean I only have an oil slick one and a black one. The black one is already on my scooter. Um, so, so maybe I'll just leave the black one on for now because that would probably look better than the oil slick would right now. So we're gonna leave the black clamp on, which weighs in at 2.1 ounces. A pretty light clamp for how girthy it is. As for the deck, we're gonna leave the AOS V5, and this is the 4.75 by 20.25 inch long deck, which you guys can get at RaymondWarner.com if you'd like. So we're leaving that deck on. We've, we've weighed wheels, we've weighed the fork, we've weighed clamp, we've weighed the bars, grips. I'm gonna leave the aluminum bar ends in, and the headset, they're all the same weight, so we're leaving the headset out. I can't remember what my scoop weighed in at before, so we're gonna weigh this again. Seven pounds, 12.7 ounces. Okay, so seven pounds, 12.7, I can't forget that. So let's get these other parts on and see what we weigh in at. Well, we got the blue vital grip tape, but it's a little, um, it's a little scratched up, but hey, success. All right, so here is these trusty seed after I have switched the lighter parts on there. We have, I put the oil slick SOB V3 on there. There's something weird going on. I think it just might be something to do with the fork. Maybe so, something might be rubbing a little bit. I'll work on it in a little bit. But I wanted to get this video finished up before the sun went completely down. I haven't switched the grips yet because again, I don't want it to be dark when I'm filming this video and I have to whip that light out. So I'm not going to. But the grips make, like we said earlier, what was it? Like 0.2 ounces or something like that. Lighter, something, something very minor. So we'll take that off of the end. Uh, got the same clamp on there, same unions, but wheels are different, and new deck, and uh, let's see what this thing weighs in at. All right, so let's get the scale on. Scale is on, and it is at zero. What were, what were we at before? Seven pounds, 12.7 ounces, I believe, is what we were at before. And now, oh, one more thing. I put a grade eight axle on the back, which might add a little bit of weight. I just thought about that. Anyways. Oh, it's on the tire. <laughs> Seven pounds, 12.2, 12.0, okay, well. Oh. It, we're just gonna say seven pounds, 12 point, it, it's going lower and higher, but right now it's saying seven pounds, 12.1 ounces. And I'm gonna minus that 0.2 ounces. So was that seven? We're just gonna say seven pounds, 12 ounces. So we lost 0.7 ounces, which is actually a lot, considering now that I'm thinking about it, we've only really switched wheels and grips and I saved almost a full ounce. But all in all, that worked out pretty well. That means I can take this thing to the skate park tomorrow, test it out, see how she's working, and it should be a little bit lighter. The only weird thing about this, when I was like kind of riding the scoot in the driveway and just looking down, this wheel compared to a Union, this is a 24 mil wide wheel. This is a 26. So it's, it's definitely, um, I don't know how well you can see it, but you can see, uh, I mean, I can see that it is, this is a skinnier wheel. This is the gap wheel. So these wheels are the ones that come on the Prodigy S8. They're super good wheels. It's the same exact urethane 
compound as the Lambos and things like that. It's just skinnier. So it's going to be kind of weird getting used to, but I've ridden 24 mil wheels before, so it shouldn't be that bad. But I'm excited to take, to take this thing to the skate park tomorrow. Sorry, I can't talk right now. I'm excited to take this thing to the skate park tomorrow, ride it, see how it's feeling. But that's going to do it for this portion of the video. Let's get you guys a positive message of the day. Everybody's done something in their past that they've regretted, whether they want to admit it or not. I know I definitely have done quite a few things in my day that I uh, regret and wish that I could take back, but I can't. And while I've talked about forgiving others and, and doing things for others, and I absolutely stand behind that, um, but I think sometimes it can be extremely difficult to forgive ourselves. You see, forgiving yourself for something that has happened, I think is just as important as forgiving somebody else. You know, it's, it's no secret that when you're having an argument with somebody and that level of forgiveness is hard to reach, um, it's, it's, it's obvious that it affects your relationship with that person. But having, um, having some animosity for yourself for something that you either could or could not control at that time, I, I think can cause a lot more grief than having an issue with somebody else. And let me explain. A lot of people are currently losing their jobs due to the pandemic. And yes, some people have qualified for unemployment, but on that same token, some people haven't. A large reason that those jobs are being lost are because businesses are unable to have the amount of employees that they normally have. And a lot of people are kind of blaming themselves for that. It's really easy to say, oh, I, sh I could have done this better, or I should have done this better, or I could have showed up earlier, or I should have made friends with this person instead of this person. And it all comes back to exactly what I was saying earlier, regret. We all have regrets. We've all made mistakes, but you've gotta forgive yourself. Beating yourself up isn't gonna make anything better. So forget your past, forget your regrets, forgive yourself and start new right now. That's today's positive message. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you all enjoyed and until next time, I'm out of here, later. Mm -hmm.